Hey guys, it's Mana here. Um, I don't know if you can, my hair doesn't look like it's too wet anymore, but um, I just got back from Lake Erie Fear Fest in Sandusky, Ohio. Um, went with some, some friends of mine from school and oh my god, it was so much fun. Um, I'm not an easy to scare person when it comes to haunted houses. Video games can scare the crap out of me, but haunted houses a little more difficult and even some of the Han actors um, were like dang she, you really can't get her and it was funny because they would try really hard to scare me and I'm just like I, I'm the wrong person in this equation sorry but um, they had a new haunted house this year um, Lake Erie Fear Fest is a combination of a few different a few different haunted houses um, at Skate World or Ghostly Manor whichever one you want to call it and they had a new one this year called Dead in the Water. And the advertisement says, you will get wet. And um, they give you rain ponchos when you before you go in. And I wasn't going to put mine on at first. And we were talking to the people at the door. And I looked at her and go, well, be honest. How wet do you get? And she just kind of looks over at the people coming out of the exit. And she goes, well, they got soaked. So each group's a little different. Like, how are they getting people wet in, in this haunted house? How, did, how are they doing it? So I put the poncho on just to, to kind of alleviate some of Ame's bumping the camera. But uh, to not get, you know, completely drenched. And um, yeah, that ended up being pointless because, like, they, they were throwing the water. Like, they had sponges and they would throw the water in some of the scenes. And... At one point, the guy comes up and he like squeezes it over our head, and my smart ass goes, DRENCH ME! And it's just right all down my face and down my shirt. And look, surprisingly, my pants did not get wet. I'm surprised by that. But it was a lot of fun. I highly suggest going to Lake Erie Fear Fest. Uh, the tickets were, I think, $22. But it was so much fun. Like, definitely go check it out. It's worth it. It was so much fun. Um, definitely go with your people who aren't difficult to scare, because then you'll have more fun. Um, it was great. Fantastic. Would love to go again. So, on that note, we'll just jump in to our regularly, regularly scheduled Detroit to Become Human. Enjoy. I wonder if you made the right choices last time. Let's see what you'll do today. Are you saying I, being... I, I detect a malfunction in my program. This is worrying. Okay, then. Um, as I knock a bunch of stuff over. Um, are, are you saying that being a pacifist is, a uh, not a good decision, Chloe. Because this is the scene where I can decide to kill you. If that's what you're implying. Let's jump back in. Who are you talking to? Hopefully your therapist. Because they're helpful, you know. Nothing wrong with seeing a therapist. Absolutely nothing. In fact, it's considered highly beneficial to see a therapist. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. No. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. He was not attacked by the deviants. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. He attacked the deviants. Deviants disarmed him. Marcus no. spared him. Get your back straight. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? Should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. I mean, it's pretty. 
Is that the the cyber life whatever over there? The thing that we robbed? Can't see too much. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Too late. I didn't hit the button in time. Really? Isn't that like... Made me think of ABC or NBC, whichever one. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Elijah Campsey, CyberLife founder, resigned 2028, inventor of Ethereum and Biocomponents technology. Nice girl. An RT-600. The first CyberLife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't... Like that the music. Jesus. <laughs> that was creepy, because my name, my real name is Amanda, so hearing it whispered in my ear like that was unsettling. AI professor at University of Colbridge, uh, born May 14th, 78, died February 23rd, um, 27. Uh, Elijah Kamsky, a graduate at University of Colbridge, born 7-17-02. Use a baby. And as for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. Well. Nice place. Space tourism. These androids prize. haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Cyber Life's fortune teller computer. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? I feel indifferent. It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. That's interesting. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Music? No music. Music? No music. I don't know. I think I've looked at everything. Oh, Imagine she's right there. Now. Excuse me, I'm going in first, Hank. Mr. Kamsky? No? Okay. Just a moment, please. Can I... Can I sit while we wait for you to... Finish your laps in your luxurious indoor pool? I personally would not have done red for the pool, but... An indoor pool would be nice to have, because I do enjoy swimming. That flip would make me incredibly dizzy, though. Let me just step out of your way. Okay, it says something when you can't be bothered to tie your own rope. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Do 
deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? your investigation or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. But yes, you are, Connor. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. I mean, in a sense, Chloe is Connor's grandmother, so to speak. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? I feel like Kamsky... What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? ...planned for this to Let's happen. get out of here. By the way... I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Just might need it. I feel like Kamsky planned all of Why this. Why didn't you shoot? 
I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. And it's funny because Hank hated androids at the beginning, but now he's on their side. It's it's interesting to think about. What the f did I miss? Kinship. Because I could have gone the route of shooting Chloe, getting the information. Uh, one of the Chloes would have gotten out of the pool and given me the location of Jericho. Sorry, I probably should have said spoiler before that. Um, oh, we could have arrived al or no? Yeah, yeah. We I think we could have arrived alone um, if we hadn't saved Hank in an earlier scene. Shut up, Peter! I forgot to turn you off. Okay, sorry about that. I always forget to turn the the heater off. And it, it makes a lot of noise. Um, yeah, it gets a little cold in here while I'm recording, but it's worth it because it's very disruptive. Anywho, um, I think we if if we hadn't saved Hank, hi Frederick. I think if we hadn't saved Hank at the station, that uh. We could have potentially come here alone. But I say, I, I, well, I didn't save anyone. Still salty about the cop. Very salty. But I think we could have come here by ourselves. Or if we had died at the station, um, Hank arrives and we're already here, which is unsettling for Hank. So if I if Mark if I had Marcus kill the police, um, at this point you would have learned that Chris was killed, which Hank would have been upset about. Um, I don't know what that middle option is. Uh, I don't know. Chloe answers the door. We enter the lobby. I found all the stuff in the lobby. Uh, Chloe returns, Turing test, I spared her. Okay, so it's, this one is a lot of this or that as far as completion goes. You can choose one or the other, and that's really about it. Um, and then these decisions at the beginning are affected by earlier chapters, so there's only so much I can do. But yeah, Connor doesn't want to admit that he's deviant, but Kamsky, the gentleman who created the programs for him, basically, said, yes, yes, you are. And I think that's because that's how Kamsky designed the androids. I feel like he designed them to be able to become deviant like that. Because, well, whatever his reasoning is, I'm not sure. But maybe he felt that it was time that humans get off their high horse and realize they're not the shit they claim to be. Um, but either way, there's an ulterior motive here for Kamsky and the creation of androids. Um, I, I can't say I know what it is. So, um, I forget whose scene is next. I really like talking to you. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. You're only saying that because I didn't shoot you. <laughs> So, um, the next scene is Marcus's scene. Um, I know this is where we find out more about North, or we may or may not find out more about her. I could really botch it and find out nothing about her. Um, and then I think it'll be either in that scene that we get to protest, or that's in another scene. I'm not sure. I feel like that's next, but I've also said it how many times now, and I've been wrong every time. So, you know, just just in case. I could be wrong. 
Um, Kamsky has alter, alter, al, ulterior motives. And um, I don't know. This game involves a lot of exploration. And Kamsky just said, you know, I always leave a... The most important thing is not to live, but to have a reason to live. That's a quote from Jean Jonot, a French writer. But Kamsky always says, I always leave an emergency exit in all my programs. You never know. Um, I've already found the back door to the program in question. I've already fiddled with it a few times. I know exact. I'm pretty sure I will be able to find it when the time comes to use it. I hope. But we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, Kamsky has ulterior motives. He created the androids for a reason. And when it... I don't know why he left the company but he's been very he's consi he's been very close with the the Chloe model like he has 3 of them in his house that we know of and they're the originals they were the first to pass the touring test which is the capability to emulate humans so but they clearly haven't deviated except for this one so I don't know if maybe they are deviant and they just kind of play along when people come over or what I have no idea I couldn't tell you what Kamsky does with them girls questionable I'm on a rant I need to stop are you familiar yes with I'm Schrodinger's familiar with Schrodinger's cat, cat. she liked to steal Until you decide play fetch what happens, and drop a balls in my everything purse. is happening at once that came out a lot like different in Detroit. than I had intended I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go. Um, but yeah, Kamsky's up to something. Lord only knows what. Um, but yes, the next scene is Marcus, and I think we're doing the protest, but I'm not positive. So, I'm logging off now. I'll see you guys later. And remember to do something nice for a stranger today. You may just save a life. Bye!